Hey guys, how are you doing today? Got another Windows tip for you. And this has to do with migrating or exporting, uh, transferring your Windows printers from an old computer to a new computer. This is a feature that's actually been in Windows since XP, probably even earlier, but I know for sure that it was implemented in XP. And I actually just figured this out, and I wish I would have known this earlier. This would have made setting up new computers that I've had or a whole lot easier to set up because what this does is it actually exports the printer driver and the IP address, the queues. It literally just takes everything and allows you to import it in on another computer. And so I'm going to show you how to do that today. Um, like I said, this is on XP7881. And one thing that you need to know is that you can work your way up. So you can export printers from 7 XP and import those into 8 or 8.1 or another 7 or XP machine, um, but you can't go down. So you can't export Windows 8 or 8.1 printers and try to import them in 7 because it's going to throw an error. So it's one of those things that you can work your way up in versions, but you can't work your way down. And so that's sort of unfortunate, but you know, you got to deal with it. But Anyway, so the easiest way to do this is to go ahead and click on the Start menu. I'm in 8.1, uh, but on Windows 7, you're just going to click on the Start menu. And in the search box down below, you're just going to type in Print Management MSC. And that'll just take you here quickly. And you want to right click on Print Management and say Migrate Printers. And then here it gives you the option to export or import the printers. So right now we're just going to go ahead and export it. And this step, you're going to want to select this print server. What this is, is your computer name. And for 99% of people, you're just going to be print exporting the printers on this machine, um, not any over the network. And even if you have network printers on your machine, you're still going to choose this server, the computer name. And so then it shows you which print queues and printer drivers and printers that it's going to actually export. So in this case, I've got a thermal printer, a DeskJet, HP DeskJet, and then an actual brother network printer. And it shows here the IP address. And so we'll just say next. Go ahead and save it on uh, a jump drive. I'll just label this test and say next and it's going to start exporting. Again this grabs the drivers and IP addresses and all that stuff. Depending on how many you have it can take a few minutes so just give it some time but once it's done just go ahead and say finish and you're done. Now you're ready to take that file and put it onto another computer and import it. So you can actually import it two ways. You can click on print management and go back to migrate printers and now this time select import Next, find the file. Um, so in this case, I'll just do, uh, here's a Win7 printer export from another computer that I have, just to show that it does work. And you can say next. And it's just got the basic, it doesn't really have anything on it, just one note. But that's one way you can import it. The other way you can also import it is to go to the file that you saved. So in this case, these three are the dot .printer export files. You can actually just double click on it and then it'll show you the printers that it's going to be loading. So this is just more of a, a direct way, quicker way to go ahead and bring it up. So then here you can see which printers it's going to be bringing up. You can say next and then it'll go through and bring them all in, all the drivers, all the settings as they were before, which saves a ton of time. Alright, so thanks for watching guys. To summarize, this is just a great way to grab printer drivers and bring them over to a new machine that you might have or an existing one. It's a great way to save time so you don't have to go download the drivers and try to figure out which is the right driver or figuring out IP addresses. It just grabs everything just like an image and then takes it and puts it on the other machine. And again, you can't work your way down on operating system versions, but you can work your way up. So you can take an XP or a 7 version of the printer export file and you can bring that up into 8 but you can't take an 8 or an 8.1 file and bring it down to 7. It's going to throw errors. So 
Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you have any problems. Uh, like my video, subscribe, and I'll go ahead and answer any questions you guys have or if you're having any problems. Thanks.